hard as it was, I wasn't hard. The Greens family, Bomani Tayambaya family, we're here back in East Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York. I'm here with Bomani Dakari, he's 12 years old. And he's seen where we grew up at in New York City. Got my sister, Shayna, and my youngest brother, Sean. They've traveled me on the journeys of a lifetime to different countries, mainly Ghana. So family, we're here back in the old neighborhood in Brooklyn. Well, it's not old neighborhood because they're still here living there, enjoying it. I'm just the one that decided to just be international. But yes, I'm Mr. Bomani in that car. Say something to everybody. How you feeling, man? Did you enjoy your flight coming in from coming into New York from Atlanta? Yes or no? No, the people cannot understand sign language. You gotta speak English. Yes. So what you want to eat now? You want you want to eat some Jamaican food, some Akian saltfish, or you want to eat some jerk chicken and things like that? So yes, yeah, Sean, please tell me you have a nice spot. You know, we know what we're doing today, family. We're gonna support black-owned business enterprise. That's what we do. That's in our blood. So we're gonna find a nice cultural restaurant, family, and we're gonna be connected and networking, and we're gonna enjoy some good food and vibes. So right now we're just walking around here in East Flatbush. You know, it's one of them areas. All right, peppers or whichever one, let it happen, let it roll, let it work. No. So, so that was it right there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that was the classic, one of our classic spots. And our good brother. I thought, I thought the rail was going up like it's about to open. So family, I, that, so he's closed for the day, right? Or is he partially open? All right, so this is one of the, the restaurants and places we used to walk around from where we live at and just go get us some nice, authentic Jamaican food, you know? So that's the good thing about when you're here in East Flatbush, you know, we have this nice Caribbean connection you know, to where it's, it's, it's basically a version of we come from in the Caribbean where, you know, it's that vibes, that energy, the good food and those good things. This is the famous hospital. Is this hospital really famous? That's a crazy place. Is it really for the crazy people? Yeah. I always say Kings County was the, the hospital and I made jokes about it, but that's it, family. That's really and truly it right there. Kings County Hospital behind you. So you know that we're in East Flatbush. And we, you know, it kind of, it's kind of like uh, where we grew up at in Jamaica where, um, I, 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 forgot the, uh, I forgot the name of the, uh, the, the hospital, it was designed for mentally insane. Oh, Bellevue. Bellevue. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. How could I forget? You, you're, if, it was, if it was Jeopardy, you don't want a championship right there. So yes, family, we're just taking a, a nice, beautiful stroll. We got my son here, he's excited, you know, he got his Nike shirt on, he got his Crocs on. Or maybe he's looking like I need to do something else. So there we go, family. My old school Brooklyn Dodgers soccer jersey. I don't remember if 42 is on the back. It's probably, it's probably not on the back. There's no number on the back. I've had this thing since... I don't want to say my early 20s when I was here. This used to be one of my classic right when I travel. Especially when I was in Virginia. Brooklyn baseball jersey. Now you see us traveling the world family and you see us wearing all the different international soccer jerseys, mainly Senegal, Tanzania, and Ghana. Got lots of soccer jerseys for those three countries. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you, you have a good restaurant for us, Sean. And we're you know, we're walking through Brooklyn. That's what we're doing. No Uber or no bicycle riding. Yes, Godfrey, greetings. Yes, and that's the owner of the, re the Jamaican restaurant we was going to for like the last two decades. 
And yes, Brooklyn is always changing, but the, the elements is always here. And unfortunately, family, it's one of those nice hot day. But you know, I'm always telling to my little boy, he's like, he's like, you know, he's probably wondering. You know, he used to when we get on a flight from Atlanta, we go somewhere very tropical and like Tanzania, and we just out there in the beaches and things. I'm like, family, I'm like, son, we're taking you back to the elements where we came from, taking you back to the roots. Yeah. Just like when we make our next journey to Jamaica, you know, and same thing I'm telling them, taking you back to, you know, the essence of where we came from. You know? And I let my little boy know he didn't just wake up one day in this world and see us all in Africa, you know? This is the family, this is the energy, the connection. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let him meet some of my good brothers, you know, over the years, you know, especially the ones we all went to school together and just progress our life and just out here just doing positive things in the world. Yeah. So yes, family, this is about brother and sisterhood and it's also about nation building and it's also about reconnection. All those wonderful things. So yes, I say to you, family, welcome to Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. The place I grew up at, lived from the age of 11 to 18. Right, here we go. Taking a beautiful stroll. Yes, Shana, so you enjoy New York. My sister born yes. and raised in New York and brother born and raised in New York. Yeah, and the rest of us born in Jamaica family, but here we are strong. Yes, you love the New York City. You know, City. You know I literally thought you'd be somewhere like where you'd be out there doing some high-tech operation there, in, you know, out there in the desert in Dubai or one oh, of them no. places. Oh, yeah. Dubai. They be looking for, they're always, you know, they're always just trying to recruit young talent and mm -hmm. emerging talents and pay them well. I almost end up over there, play, almost end up over there uh, several years ago. In Dubai? Sometimes all, well, not really, just, just uh, that, that entire Gulf area. Mm. You know, just... Okay. Sometimes, uh, you know, those numbers that they send you, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of money and you know, sometimes they send you, you know, they, they give you the nice six-figure six numbers mm -hmm. and say, bring your talents out here. And I think that's how they built all that area. They just, they recruited oh. people from all over the world yeah. and put them to work and they got, they got an empire over there now. now the, the World Cup is about to be played in Doha, Qatar. That's out there in the so-called Persian Gulf, so-called... West Asia, so-called Northeast Africa, so-called many different things. That it's that that area that has so many different names. But yeah, that's where it's being played at in the next few months. So the the world has seen places that used to be desert, they're developed now. Family, we're in, in Brooklyn and places that we I remember growing up. We used to see empty lots. There's like. I, I've been w walking around and moving around for the last few hours. I'm, I'm still trying to find an empty lot. If it was, a, if it's an empty lot, it's something built on it now. And and if you see anything beyond normal, it would just be like an urban garden. But everything is developed. Everything has something on it. No, it's condos. It's a condo right in the middle of the hood. I've seen that too. It's a, and and and. and, 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 and yeah, but then, I, then, I'm, then I'm here and in the... If you go more to Flatbush, you'll see a lot of All those old buildings, they just turn them into condos and just triple the um, rent. Triple the rent. <laughs> I'm telling you, family, and I'm in Georgia, and outside of Atlanta area, and then East Atlanta, West Atlanta. And do, it's the same thing going on. So I'm telling people, family, let's get land and invest and develop it because be prepared because the rent hike and the real estate hike is real. Yes, family, out here by... Connectedy yeah. and Linden Boulevard and Linden Boulevard run all the way to where we first came from when we came from Jamaica directly we came to East New York East New York and Linden Boulevard is that popular boulevard that runs all the way across take you know, as a matter of fact we was out there in, in Queens at the JFK Airport and this street this Linden Boulevard right here family will take you all the way to the airport and literally. So what school is this right here? 
135. 135. I'm trying to remember if we used to play basketball out here or something. Um, maybe we do. <laughs> Wingate. So this is how they do it, family. Uh, in, in Georgia, the school, son, how, how tall is the, your school? Is it one floor or four floors? Huh? It's one floor. Mr. Bomani, the oh, car yeah, say one flat, floor. Right? Hey, this floor. is New York City. This is Brooklyn. This is five floors. And see, and then I remember, you know, we came here in like 88, and I was going to school in 88, 80, 1988, 1989, and you know, you, you come out of this big concrete jungle building and you literally you go out there and then we just out there. It's not really a playground, but we just out there playing with basketball or dodgeball or something. We're just happy to be outside of that, this building, this big concrete building. So that's why I've been able to just, you know, love Georgia, you know. We got parks and playgrounds everywhere. But you know, you do what you can do in the urban city, but that's just New York. Look at, look at this, this is a nice little, it's, it's like a little track and field area, right? And then that's the playground I was saying, literally. That's the school playground. The baby playground. Oh yeah, they did Wingate over a good amount of years ago. The playground. Wingate, where's Wingate at? You know where Wingate is? No, I didn't know where Wingate is. Oh, up there. You know, our school, our school is transit technology. Like, yeah, but yeah, that would be the popular school in the area. Yes, family. We're taking a stroll through Brooklyn. Brooklyn jersey on. And this is Shayna. Yes, I'm trying to. You came with us uh, to Ghana in like October 2016. 2016. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. And then this, I'm trying to remember how old this little boy was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was leaving six years ago. Yeah, so he's half the age. That's amazing. Yeah. And it's a, it's a big boy. And your son is your, your little boy is that age now. He's six years old. Oh, now he's five. You got a lot of energy, right? The same amount of energy, right? You're like, <laughs> there you go. Are you, are you cold, son? It's cold. You know, it's, uh, you know. Yeah, a little breeze right now, though, at least. Yeah, that's probably making them chilly. Yeah. Let, me go get you, let me go get you a windbreaker. Oh, you like sewer sweaters or something? Yeah, you know, some people want to protect themselves from all the vitamin E. <laughs> <laughs> that's my little bit of money right here. You don't play around. He likes his hoodies and his, his jackets and everything. It doesn't matter if he's out there in the desert, you know. I'm going to take you out there in the desert one day. I'm going to see if you want to wear that jacket out there. All right, so family, we're back here. When we first got off on the bus in Church Avenue. So family, the journey continues. We're going to find somewhere nice to eat I mean, and enjoy some good food. And then we're going to give some updates and things beyond that. Yes, so this is where we're gonna, we'll find a whole lot of French island girls, especially from Jamaica. You know, this is where a lot of our folks came and set up business. So you have a lot of black owned business operation going on here in Flatbush and the, the roots and the culture from the Caribbean islands is infused. I love it, you know? And that's what we're here to do, you know, we're always here to celebrate 100% black culture, black business enterprising. Black people connecting and networking with each other. Walking around in the streets of Brooklyn.